Hey everyone, welcome. My name's Farmer Min. I just uh, got up here to Woodshire. Nice little little town in the hills in Oregon. And right now I'm standing in front of Mary's Farm. Well, it was Mary's Farm. I, I guess it could still be Mary's Farm. My Aunt Mary, she... Uh, yeah, she's no longer with us. So, luckily enough that, uh, well, I guess luckily enough for me, not for Mary, but uh, I kind of inherited her farm here. And uh, it's a nice little farm. I uh, I came to Oregon to check things out and thought, yeah, I'll just have a little bit of a go at this. So, here I am. Um, some things have changed. Um, we had a little auction. We got rid of some some of the material, and then I had to uh, put in some money to do some updating. But let me give you a little tour of what we got here. Uh, well, speaking of it, I got to get my new license plates put on my truck. I forgot to do that, but I'll get that done. Anyways, Mary was a sheep farmer. She had quite a bit of sheep here uh, before she passed, and well. Some of them we sold at the auction, but we kept 10. I thought, ten, you know what, I could do 10. 10 would be a nice little number, so over here I got my sheep. They're having a good time. They're kind of some some loud creatures, but uh, they're nice. I, I like them. I think we'll get along quite well. You know, being that it's uh, the early spring here, luckily enough that I have some hay standing by so I can feed them. But, uh, yeah, everything is good. Nice little water container there called an Aquatrans. And this is my big purchase. I uh, used some of my retirement money and bought uh, myself a tractor. Actually, I traded in a tractor. She had a, not Mary, she had a Vultra. And I'm not a big fan of Vultras, but uh, this is kind of case country up here in this neck of the woods. So I thought I would go with the, with the case tractor. Uh, I like it a lot. It does 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 a pretty good job. So we got that. Um, over here, I've got a, a windrower and a tether, so we can make some hay for the sheep here. And uh, this is a new piece of machinery, and, and not too far from Woodshire here, there's a dealer that uh, is importing Lemkin Cedars. So they're kind of becoming a pretty big deal here in the in the northwest US so I'm excited to try this out I got this on a pretty good deal um, it was a demo model so I got it all cleaned up and, and put away so we're looking forward to using that here come planting time um, Aunt Mary I kept this old uh, loading wagon that she had I should really wash it up but uh, it'll do the it'll do the trick good old Euro boss you can't go wrong my little uh, tipper trailer here or as I like to call them, or an end dump. I call them an end dump, little farm tech, so that's good. Mary, that was Mary's. Mary had the 1660 case combine. Yeah, it's a little bit old, but you know what? Um, it'll do the job for now. I got, a, I got a little header here, so we'll be able to make it work. And, of course, I got my mower set up. Mary had the, the first one here, the, the mower that I can attach on the front of the the tractor and and from the same dealer I bought this uh, this mower set up here so I can put that on the back so I can do more mowing at one time that'll be nice um, got myself a sprayer yep I kind of like it a coon sprayer coon deltas matter of fact and the coon uh, axis fertilizer spreader so I'll be able to cover some ground with that hopefully but we'll see how it goes and and then this is one purchase that I did make. Uh, I bought this uh, Merlo, this Turbo Farmer Telehandler. I mean, I think it's a pretty slick thing. I got the, the knobby tires on there. I had it painted black. And, uh, yeah, I think she'll do good with this nice Kotec forks. They're awesome for, uh, for bales. I can actually move six bales at one time. So good to go there. And, uh, yeah, so there you have it. Oh, I did. I forgot my little case tracker. Yep, 
this is Aunt Mary. She kind of, I remember when Aunt Mary bought this. She gave me a ride in it, my first ride in the tractor. And of course, it's got the loader on there. It doesn't quite fit in the in the garage here, so I feel like either extend the garage or cut the cab off. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. It's a good tractor. It's got the big old tires on there, but uh, yeah, that'll work fine. So I'll tell you what I'll do here, just to get started. I'll give you a little give you a little tour around the farm. Hop in my uh, my pickup truck. Oh, she sounds good, doesn't she? Yeah, nice cab. I just had her. I just had her detailed, but uh, but uh, we'll give her a shot here, and I'll show you what's going on. Mary had uh, Mary had a bunch of land that uh, she used to farm, and had a couple good helpers. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's my plow and my cultivator. I bought those at a local auction, pretty good price, but. This is one of my fields here. I don't know what I'm going to plant in here yet, but we'll have to get her get something in there. But uh, yeah, she looks good. We'll go off this way here. We'll go off this way. Oh, we got her in here. So, anyways, how's everybody doing today? Nice day here in Oregon. It's, eh, I guess it's a little bit, a little bit dippy, but uh, 41 degrees outside. But we'll make her work. Now right down here is my second field that I have from Aunt Mary. Right in here, and I don't know what, what was going on. Let's just get out and take a look here. I don't know what was going on here. I think they had uh, some demos going on out here. People trying out equipment. Why it looks it looks like this, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like somebody was either plowing or cultivating, but that's okay. I like that. So we have this field. They gotta get worked and get planted, but but we'll get to her here eventually. So. Oh, I could have kept the truck running. Had the heat on a little bit. A little cold in here. But uh, let's see, where should we go? I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll go left. Looks pretty good. Nobody coming. You gotta get used to driving back on the correct side of the road. I was in Europe there for a while and. People, they drive on the wrong side. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Make some road construction starting early this spring. I'm kind of surprised about that, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Now up here on the right, we'll pull in there. I don't think anybody's here. I think they're they're still in Arizona for the for the winter time. But uh, this would be my grandpa's place. He uh, he uh, quit farming a long time ago and rented out his land and so everything's kind of vacant in here. But uh, but this is his house. I think my cousin's home, but uh, I don't know. But he used to have cows and no more cows anymore. But you know that's a possibility when I expand later on that I can I can maybe maybe get into this. But Grandpa Delby, he was. Uh, he was a heck. He's a heck of a guy. Well, I should say he is. He still is. Still, still is a heck of a guy. But and he's kind of helped me out a little bit. But we'll make a go at it. So that's Grandpa's place. Kind of quiet now this time of the year. But uh, that's okay. Whoa. I better be very much where I'm going here. A little crazy. Anyways. So this little path up here I like to take. When I was a kid I used to come up here and uh, cause a little ruckus, but not anymore. I gotta be behave myself now that I'm a, I'm a farmer. Whoa, is it a puppy? 
I have to wash my pickup here too when I get done, but that's okay. That's okay. Right up in here. I'll just turn in here. Uh, watch out for the barn, but uh, right up here is another field of mine. Alley the pickup run. Another field of mine. As you can see, there's my farm down there, so we got to plant this one too. I suppose to get it uh, fertilized and plowed, and, and we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. And then, uh, actually, we could just—I could have just gone this way. But yeah, you can see it. I uh, was thinking about putting an offer on this field here, but uh, I think they're asking a little bit too much for it. I mean, it'd be nice to have this field it's right next to my right next to my little spread and right next to this field here but I ah, will make it work so one last thing I'll show you and then we'll better actually get to work uh, my buddy Bjorn he uh, he came up from the Dakotas he's gonna give me a hand here with this farming thing but uh, I haven't seen him yet this morning I think he's probably still getting getting unpacked and getting moved in but that's okay we still got plenty of time it's like I said you know ground temperature and I took this morning it was only 41 degrees so not a whole lot of planting we can do at the moment but we'll make it happen here here I'll show you on my fancy uh, my fancy phone I got an app on here as you can see there's a map of the area so I'm up there up top and uh, I showed you field two and five and we got one more field I'll show you that I own that we got to get planted and I was kind of thinking maybe soybeans in that one but uh, I don't know we'll give it a shot here yep. not a bad day forecast doesn't look too bad uh, I got rain whoa what is going on here lady I shouldn't say that. It could be a guy. It's kind of bad of me to say. But uh, the person driving here could get moving a little faster, I think. Do do do. Well, I will go around this person. Let's see who it is. Ah! Oh, it is a guy. Well, so be it. Man, he could have drove a little faster. Nice little town. This is it's a nice little town. I like it. Uh, Woodshire there. Good setup. What's this guy going to do? Oh, turning. Okay. We'll head up this way. Yep, definitely case country. I'll show you here so if you look on the map I'm not too far away but this would be my uncle uncle Tom's home uh, right in here he uh, he lives here he's a pig farmer but uh, I don't I think he just sold all his pigs uh, he was getting ready to to uh, leave as well but I'll show you what his place looks like yeah, not too bad. Good setup. I mean, he was a big, big farmer back in the day, but it just got to be too much for him as he's getting older and can't do all the work. And he's in Arizona right now too with uh, with Grandpa Delby. So, yep, got some chickens. I might as well pick up these eggs while I'm here. I suppose I Uncle Tom told me that I should get that done, but, uh, but we'll pick them up. So. That's that. And then I'll show you the last place I'm going to gonna show you. I get turned around here without scratching my pickup. But I'll head this way. Oof. -da. And one thing you got to watch out for is the traffic. They're just terrible. Absolutely terrible. But right here, this is my last field that I have that Mary left me. So, there you go. 
got three fields or four fields there. You got four fields to get done, but I think we can do it. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we can actually build a road right in there, but uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to head back to the farm and uh, I'll see you. You know, I tell you, this view just uh, never gets old. What a great view. You know, I was thinking about it. You know, Mary had some gardens in here. Um, I don't know what she had planted here, but uh, might be a good idea if I just plowed this out and made another little field here. Something to think about. I'll tell you what. Let's hop in the tractor. I'm going to go down to the store. Actually, let's hook up to the to the fertilizer spreader here. And then we'll head down to the store and get some fertilizer so we can start spreading the fields here. Backed up, there we go. I called the head. They were gonna put some totes of fertilizer out for me, being I don't have uh, like a uh, tender truck or anything at this moment to, to haul fertilizer. So we'll just have to make do. But down the road, that'd be a handy thing to have. I think uh, a tender truck would be ideal, but we'll make do. It's it's not the end of the world here. to the left here. Uh, store is just right there. It's a very inconvenient uh, Mary's farm here, but uh, traffic is just slow. There we go. Alright. And we'll turn right in here. Look at that. They got it all uh, sitting out for me already. Very good deal. Very good deal. Yeah, they're kind of on the ball here. They uh, they know what's going on. Lower that down there. There we go. Perfect. Boy, that hurts your neck when you turn like that. I will shut that off here. And I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. We'll see if they're going to load it up or if I can just go ahead and use their forklift. I'll, I'll be right back with you. I'll walk in here and find out. i tell you what, I said I would do it, but they uh, they brought a lady out here to get it done for me. I kind of feel bad that uh, I'm sitting here watching, but uh, no, they, they're forklift. i got to let them do it, I, I suppose, if that makes sense. But, uh, but uh, we'll get her done here. Seems to be pretty good with that forklift. Alrighty. Well, thank you, miss. You have yourself a great day. Well, Bjorn showed up. We had a little little conversation, and uh, he thought he would get going doing some tilling right away here on field two, so that's what he's up to. He's a good guy. He, uh, he uh, gets things done, works hard, and loves what he does, so I'm lucky that he decided uh, him and his family move up here to Oregon to, to give her a shot and and uh, 
get farming. And I think, you know what, hopefully down the road, perhaps that uh, maybe Uncle Tom's farm, when uh, he decides to stay in Arizona full-time, maybe Bjorn and his family could uh, move into that place and start doing some pigs. But that's something down the road. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to going to leave him go at that and uh, I think maybe I'll go on and do some fertilizer but uh, still early in the day it's only 8 20 in the in the morning getting all kinds of stuff done right away but uh, I'll tell you what I think we'll leave that here for now and uh, thank you for joining us and um, look forward to having you back and uh, and we'll get uh, some more work done. But uh, with that said, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We'd uh, we'd love that. And uh, from Bjorn and Farmer Min here from Oregon, have yourself a great day. And remember, keep them between the ditches.